Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting question x square minus y square equal to 24 and a product x times y equal to 35. If you have your own solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. You can also write your information down into the comment section and we will check your answers here in just 5 minutes. So it will be really interesting to exchange information into the comment section. So what do we have right here? We have x square minus y square. So we have difference of squares equal to 24 and we have a product x times y equal to equal to 35. So there a lot of approaches how can you solve this question but i'm going to show you this one first of all let's call this first equation uh, this uh, first expression as first equation and this x y equal to 35 for example let's call it as the second equation and our first step is to divide the first equation by the second one let's do this so we have right here division so we divide the first equation we divide by the second one by the second one really great let's do the thing right now as a result we have right x square we divide by the second one by xy minus y square we divide by xy equal to 24 we divide by by xy really great right now if we look closely we have x square and we have x in our denominator so it implies that we can easily cancel this square sign with this x and the same thing with this square with this with this y okay let's do this right now and as a result we have right here x x over y minus y over x okay equal to 24 but xy equal to 35 so right now let's write it instead of this xy we can easily write this as 35 so this is our this is our uh, question right now right now let's write a substitution okay how our substitution look like for example let this x over y let's call this x over y for example, let's call this as st. This is our t. This is a remain substitution in this in this question. It is really this is really important substitution. But in, in the same way, we need to write that t need to be need to be positive because if we are talking about x and y, this x and y need to be need to be positive. It can be negative in both in both cases when x is negative and y is negative. But in our question in our in our question, we need to mention that t need to be need to be positive. Okay, because we have minus minus plus, minus minus plus, so t need to be need to be positive. Really great. So let's do this. Let's solve this question. Uh, first of all, this is our t. Y over x. This is not t. This is our one over t. Okay, when we write our substitution, equal to twenty four over over thirty five. Okay, really great. Right now, let's find our common denominator right here. As a result, we have right here t in our denominator, and in our numerator we have t square minus t square minus one. So t square minus one equal to twenty four over over thirty five. Really great. Right now, what are we going to do next? First of all, let's use our cross multiplying. So basic school looks like trick right here. As a result, we have right here thirty five times t square minus one t square minus 1 equal to 24t, 24t. So we're going to multiply it according to a cross multiplying rule. Okay, right now let's multiply this 35 by this parenthesis. We have 35t square minus 35 equal to 24, 24t. And if you look closely, this is, looks like a quadratic equation right here. Okay, we have right here square, we have the first power, we have a constant. So right now let's change in order a little bit. So 35t squared, this is our first position, minus 24t from the right side, and minus 35 equal to equal to zero. Right now let's find a discriminant. We can uh, solve this question in a different way. We need to write our discriminant. So our discriminant equal to uh, b square minus 4ac. Yeah, b square minus 4ac. This is all known formula, which is equal to b square. B square we have minus 24 square minus 4 times 35 times 35. Two times we have 35. 35 times 35. Uh, with the minus sign so as a result we will have like a plus sign okay basically we need to change the sign right here because we have minus minus c we have plus right here as a result what do we have right here we have 576 if you're talking about 24 square and right here when we multiply it we have plus 4900 
900, which is equal to 5,476. And I checked this root, uh, checked this uh, case in the book, and I was really happy because square root of discriminant equal to equal to 70, 74. So which is which is really great. So right here we will have like real number roots. So discriminant is absolutely great for us. Right now let's plug in into this into this formula. We have right here t first and t second equal to all known formula minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a let's plug in this uh, this uh, well this uh, these values into this spot minus b we have right here minus minus 24 plus minus square root of discriminant so we have right here square root of 74 yeah or like square root of discriminant we, we take it right here so we have 74 not like square root and we divide all the other thing by 2a 2a we have 2 times 35 equal to 70 really great which is equal to so t first and t second equal to minus minus we have plus so 24 plus minus 74 and we divide all of the thing by by 70. We can easily find these uh, these solutions right here. Let's start for example with the with the plus sign. So our t first equal to we have right here 24 plus 74 and we divide all of the thing by by 70. As a result, our t first when we add it we have 98 divided by 70 and we can easily we can easily divide it by 2 as a result we have 49.35 in our denominator and as a result we have 7 divided by 5 this is our t first what about t second t second equal to we have right here 24 minus 74 solve the same with the minus sign divide all the thing by 70 but with one really interesting moment 24 minus 74 this is our negative numerator these are a positive denominator, so basically t second is less than zero. But in in the previous step, we wrote that t need to be positive, so we're gonna reject this t t second. So reject it t second, reject it, reject it. We don't need this t second because t second is negative. So we we happy about this one root seven over five. So let's write it. We have right here t equal to seven over over five. But but our x and over y equal to t. This is our substitution in the beginning, right here. x over y equal to t. So we have right here t equal to 7 over 5, but x, y equal to t. So as a result, our x divided by y, this is equal to 7 over, over 5, which is really great for us. And right now, how can we find our x and y? Very easy. Let's look at it. Uh, our first equation in the beginning. So x square minus y square. We don't need it. Let's rewrite our x y equal to thirty five. Let's do this. So x or times y equal to thirty five. Equal to thirty five. So let's multiply both sides by this x times y. As a result, what do we have right here? X y times x over y equal to seven over five times thirty five. Right now, we can easily cancel this y and this y. As a result, we have x square right here on the on the left side. x square equal to 7 over 5 times 35. We can easily cancel this 5 with this 35. We have 7. 7 times 7, we have we have 49. So basically, x square equal to 49. We can easily solve it. Our x equal to plus minus plus minus 7. If you're talking about y, we can easily plug in this, uh, for example, uh, right here. As a result, we have uh, with the 7, with the positive 1, we have 7 times 5 equal to 35. So uh, y equal to 5. And with the both signs, we have with the plus, with the minus sign. So minus 7 times minus 5 equal to 35. So we have plus minus. Okay, I hope you understand it by why we talking about plus minus and right here with the plus minus okay so i hope you i hope you understand my thoughts my thoughts about it so let's write our final answer to this question let's write it for example right here so our answer our answer we have the first pair of solutions so x and y equal to we have right here x we have seven to five and in the same way, minus 7 and minus 5 also is also is really great for us. Right now we can easily check our solution. Let's look back to this uh, to this uh, question. So we have x square minus y square. Let's, for example, rewrite our pairs. So we have 7, 5. And we have minus 7, minus 5. Let's check it real quick. For example, 7, 7, 5. We have 7 square minus 5 square equal to 24. And 7 times 5 equal to equal to 35 this is really easy in the second equation so 7 times 5 equal to 35 
and 7 square root of 49 minus 25 equal to 24 yeah so this is really great really great proof for us to check check this first root let's check for example this second one let's check it for example yeah we have enough space right here so let's split it into the second part so we have right here minus 7 square minus minus 5 square equal to 24 and basically it changed nothing because the negative right here goes to a positive so we have 49 minus 25 so we have 49 minus 25 which is equal to 24 and basically with the negative sign we have minus minus we have plus so as a result all solutions are, are great for us and this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand it i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong you can also write your solution down into the comment section because this is not like only this solution uh, there are a lot of solutions how can you solve this challenge uh, for example with the basic with the basic substitution so all known substitution when we when we find uh, y and we plug in into the second equation here yeah, you can also write your so write your notes about this question this is my explanation this is my thoughts about it i want to see your response down into the comment section your solution down into the comment section it will be really interesting to exchange information and i hope you understand my explanation i hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Wish you all the best in your life and have a great day.